Hello, it's March 10th. Spring is upon us. We just had our time change. Last night was the warm moon is what they call it, which is the first full moon where the earthworms wake up from the winter slumber and come to the surface. Spring is here. We've had consistent 80 degree weather. We've even had some 90s. So let's talk about pruning crepe myrtles. So the first thing I want to say is you do not have to trim crepe myrtles technically ever. A lot of times people that trim them, it's all for aesthetics. You take stuff off like this, last year's old seed pod. So this is what was referred to as a bush form. Generally with this one, um, it's going to be a little difficult to make it look like a tree with a single clean trunk. If you're interested in crepe myrtles that have that look, you're gonna to wanna to get what's called a standard or tree form crepe myrtle, which the grower has already caned up the terminal here and cleaned everything out and that's a nice solid trunk. They come in singles and then you have multiple ones, which is kind of cool because as they get older and those individuals grow out, they eventually kind of fuse together and it gives it an interesting look. Uh, but this is a bush form, so I'm going to demonstrate today trimming a tree form. We're going to pretend like this is the canopy and that there's a, a trunk down there somewhere. Uh, but again, if it's just 20 foot, this is a Natchez again, so a 20 foot tree. I personally would not want to climb up 20 feet to go trim a crepe myrtle. So when it's that size, you really don't have to do much to it. Just keep it happy with fertilizers and water. So before I make my first cut, I like to walk around the plant to get an idea of what it looks like, what it's going to look like in the end too, especially of course. You can look at it and you can, using your mind's eye, almost see where you want it. Where is the meat of the plant? It's certainly not up here where all this tindrily stuff is. It's going to be a round circle with pieces pointing out. The growth habit of uh, crepe myrtle is very upright. You do get pieces that grow outward, but a lot of upright growth. So once I have a general idea of what I think I want it to look like, I'll start with the tallest pieces. Usually the largest pieces too, because those will be the ones that stay with you the longest. So you want to trim those below the line that you've drawn out in your mind and where that final canopy border will be. So for example, I'm looking at this one. And these are your tallest pieces right here. These are the first ones that you see that catch your eye. So those will be the first ones you take care of, because once they're kind of taken care of, the picture will come together a little bit more. Three cuts and already it looks way better. So I'm gonna do some pieces on the side because those are the next ones that catch my eye. One, two, three. And remember you can always take more off. So if you're unsure, leave a little on there and do your cut and then come back to it because as time goes on, you'll probably end up taking more off. You'll want to make some adjustments. You can always take more off, you can't put more on. So as an example, I've got new growth here coming in. I'm gonna leave this on here because this cut I'm gonna make is within that area that I think I might want, but I might end up taking this off. But at this point, The picture is coming together a little bit more now so I can work a little quicker. I'm feeling a little bit more confident. So I like this. That's it. That's exactly what I was envisioning in my mind. 
nice rounded canopy. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do any more major trimming on bringing the height in. I'm gonna thin it out now. So this is definitely the first one I'm gonna take out of here. Um, definitely a major piece, but it's so close to this one, which I like. I might take this one out as well, but I'm not going to immediately because once this one's out of here, this one might actually be important because it's coming out and it's filling kind of like this area of the plant. I actually like that now. I'm glad I didn't take that out because that's good spacing between that and that and that. And aesthetically, to my eye, that looks really nice from this angle. So I'm going to leave it alone. Maybe in the future I'll take it out as I'm trimming, but at this point, I'm leaving it. So uh, what I'm removing are pieces that cross. Here's a small one. It's nowhere near the width of this one and this one. I can take this out. I can take this one out because it's pretty much horizontal. I want all my growth going up. I'm almost done. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of define this this uh, <clears throat> border a little bit of the canopy, trimming up on this little twiggy stuff. You can see how my larger pieces are lower than the border. That's good because I want growth coming out. That's it, I'm done. I like it. And now I don't have to do that again for a whole year. Crepe murder your crepe myrtles, which is a term that horticulturalists use for landscapers that go along and pretty much chainsaw them down. And then just let it grow back. You can do that with a crepe myrtle because of the growth habit of it is very vigorous, but it is like one of the worst things that you can do to crepe myrtle because what happens in the long run is you get knuckling along that same area that these guys come along and cut, it just scars up and you just get this nasty bundle and you'll eventually just tear the thing out of there and start new. Whereas you could have a crepe myrtle growing on site like the one we have here, I think it's from like 1995. And I trimmed it one time last year and I barely did anything to it and it looks fine. After you've trimmed them up and they start to wake up, you can hit them with some flower tone. This is from a spoma and it's organic. We like organics around here because it helps to feed your soil, which is a great thing in Florida. So I would suggest flower tone. It's great stuff. And that's it. Celebrate that you won't have to do that again for at least 365 days. Have a good one.